we're back with another look at uh, Wave 20. This time we're looking at the uh, Halleck Raider from the Kazon. And uh, again, borrowing this one from my friend's collection, so we're missing our uh, Skill 1 Captain as well as our tokens. But we got everything else here, and we're going to get in and take a look. We have our standard Raider dial, same one we got with our previous Raider. We have our maneuver card for the Raider. I just noticed that the picture on there really looks like the Predator class, not the Raider. So, kind of interesting. Decently maneuverable ship has that one come about in there. Of course, it is red. Got all your two maneuvers and a little bit of green there in the middle. Not an exceptionally fast ship, but pretty standard maneuvering. For our named Halleck Raider, two attack, two agility, three hull, three shield. Two weapon upgrades, two crew upgrades for 20 points. Evasive, target lock, and battle stations. And our ability is when defending during the roll defense dice step, you may disable one of your active shields to gain plus two defense die versus that attack. Kind of a gamble. You're giving up one shield, which can definitely block a, um, a hit for the option of rolling two extra dice that possibly could block a hit. It's a gamble if you're if you're into it, if you're towards the beginning of the game, might be worth it. Then we have our Kazon Raider. Again, that ship looks like the Predator class, not the uh, Raider class. But a uh, generic one, you're losing one shield, using one of your weapon upgrades for 18 points. For our captain, we have Surat. Captain skill of 5, 3 points. As an action, place a scan token beside your ship. If you do not have a tech upgrade deployed to your ship, place an auxiliary power token beside your ship as well. Gives you that option to put a scan on your uh, ship, even if you don't have the scan on the action bar, like this ship does not. But, uh, going to get that auxiliary power token if you don't have at least some sort of tech upgrade deployed. For crew upgrades, we have Lorem. Four points. When attacking with your primary weapon during the roll attack dice step, instead of rolling your normal number of attack dice, you may discard this card and roll a number of attack dice equal to the SP cost of one upgrade on the target ship to a maximum of four. Really helps a small ship like this with only a two attack can do up to four uh, attack worth of damage at the cost of a four uh, point upgrade yourself. It's really a hit or miss type thing. Definitely an option though to uh, boost up the attack on such a small ship. Next we have Kazon Guard. Four points. During the activation phase, you may discard this card to place an evasive token beside your ship, even if there's already one there. If you do so, place an auxiliary power token beside your ship. No ship can be equipped with more than one Kazon Guard upgrade. I can see where this would be useful, but at the same time, four point upgrade to get a single evasive token and an auxiliary power token. If you didn't get the auxiliary power token, I'd say it'd be worth it. The detriment of the auxiliary power token and discarding a four point upgrade just for one evasive. Granted, you could use it if you've already done evasive to get two tokens beside your ship, but still seems a little steep for the cost. This one's kind of an oddball upgrade because it really doesn't fall into any category, but unremarkable species costs five points. This upgrade does not require an upgrade slot and may not be deployed to a Borg ship. While this upgrade is equipped to your ship, the Kazon upgrades cannot be targeted by the Borg, a simulation tubule upgrade. In addition, when defending against the Borg ship, roll the during the roll defense dice step, roll plus two defense dice. This upgrade costs five extra points if purchased for a non-Kazon ship, and no ship can be equipped with more than one. Always a nice thing, especially if you know you're uh, going to be going up against Borg. For weapon upgrades, we have Photonic Charges. Three points. Attack value of 3, range 1 to 2. Place 3 time tokens on this card to perform the attack. Place an auxiliary power token beside the target ship if there's at least one uncancelled hit or crit. It's kind of an interesting weapon. We've had this before with Kazon ships. It's only 3 dice. Doesn't require a target lock, which is nice, but uh, trying to make those um, hits actually stick to get those auxiliary power tokens is kind of rough. If you can pull it off, then it's definitely worth it. Next we have Variable Yield Charges, 2 points. When attacking with one of your Photonic Charges upgrades during the roll attack dice step, you may disable this card to gain a plus 1 attack die for that attack. If you do so, place an Auxiliary Power Token beside your ship. Gives you a um, 
way to boost this up so it's a four die attack instead of a three die. At the same time, you're giving yourself an auxiliary power. Still useful in the right situations. And last, we have aft torpedo launchers. Three points, attack value of four. Spend your target lock and place three time tokens on this card to perform the attack. Range two to three. You can only fire this weapon in a ship that is not in your far forward firing arc. Kind of an interesting option. Gives you that ability to uh, basically fire 360 degree. You have that 180 degree front arc. You can fire this in not in your front arc. So in that 180 degree rear arc that you don't have. So definitely useful in that respect. Four attack is nice. It does require a target lock and a uh, three time token so it's the equivalent of a normal standard torpedo but uh, definitely useful in the right situation to cover that backside. The mission that comes with this one is Renara 4. Not really familiar with uh, Voyager story too much. I'd have to go back and rewatch to uh, see. I'm assuming it's the episode where the ship appears. Couldn't tell you much about this mission unfortunately. As I said I borrowed these so not mine, I've never actually ran them. Federation and Kazon Raider versus uh, this ship. And there's wind conditions for the Federation and objectives for both of the other Kazon ships. Haven't really played them to uh, say much about it, but it's there if you're interested. Here we have our Halleck Raider base. You see that 180 degree front arc. There is no rear arc, but the one upgrade we have doesn't mention a rear arc. It just says it can't be fired from the front, so you can fire it out of there, even though there isn't an actual firing arc, which is nice. And there we have our generic Raider again, 180 degree front arc. The ship, as with all the newer ships, is coming in that uh, metallic plastic. Not sure if it's better or worse detail on these. Does kind of look cool, but does make them stand out a bit from the old ones. Your old ones kind of had that matte color to them. Overall, I think it looks a little better. Definitely another one that's going to need some paint to really make it stand out. They did make like the areas up in here quite a bit darker. And uh, in exchange, they pretty much left all the paint off the bottom. The detail's still there, it's just not painted anymore. So interesting ship as with all the other ones if you have some skill with a brush you can really make it uh, stand out for the expansion it's another good addition the Kazon have really been hurting for some more ships and some more variety and cards definitely have some interesting and useful things mixed in here the protection from the Borg is nice the aft torpedoes are nice to make use of a 360 degree arc now and then um, various other upgrades, variable yield works with photonic charges in this ship, as well as the ones we've gotten previously. All around, a good addition to the uh, Kazon. It's another one where if you're not uh, playing Kazon or not playing Faction Pure, there isn't a heck of a lot in here that's going to uh, help you out. There's definitely other packs that have better options for that respect, but as a collector or a KSN player, definitely going to want to add this one to your collection.